In 2005, Austria Salzburg were purchased by energy drinks company Red Bull. The move didn't go down well with everyone, and some of the team's supporters were put off by the rebrand. However, over the last few years, the club, known since as Red Bull Salzburg, has gained respect for the efficiency of their operation. They possess an excellent scouting system, with several of their best finds, such as Nabi Keita, Sadio Mane and Dayu Upamecano moving on to thrive in some of Europe's top leagues. However, this season they have won new admirers purely due to the quality of their football as well as some surprising results on the continent. Manager Marco Rose and his assistant, former tactics blogger René Marek, were placed in charge of the first team after taking the club's under-19s to victory in last year's UEFA Youth League. They have enjoyed an incredible debut campaign at the helm. Salzburg won the Austrian Bundesliga in impressive fashion and they reached the final of the Austrian Cup as well. They also reached the semi-finals of the Europa League, knocking out Real Sociedad, Borussia Dortmund and Lazio before falling to Marseille. All of this has been achieved in exciting style. Rose generally lines his side up in a fluid 4-3-1-2 with a midfield diamond. The defence is fairly settled. Stefan Lehner, André Romalo, Doye Chalatasa and Andreas Ulmer form a back four that sits in front of an experienced German goalkeeper and club captain in Alexander Volker. Up front, top scorer Monas de Boer is joined by one of Frederick Gulbranson, Hee-Chan Huang or Takumi Minamino. However, the midfield four is far more flexible. Zeva Schlager is arguably the most versatile midfield option. The 20-year-old Austrian has operated as a deep-lying playmaker, a number 10 and a left winger at various points in what has been a breakthrough season. His positional awareness enables him to fill in almost anywhere depending upon the team's requirements. As a result, he simultaneously competes with Hannes Wolf and Minamino for the attacking midfield berth and with Amadou Haidara, Diadi Samaseko and Valan Bashira for a place in the central Trident. Salzburg are extremely focused on verticality when attacking. This means that they often look to play through the centre, making full use of their diamond midfield shapes many different angles, enjoying a combination of possibilities. The back four circulate the ball from side to side, looking to open up and exploit gaps in the opposition defensive block. Romalo is particularly skilled in progressing possession, regularly finding more advanced teammates with penetrative passes. One commonly used piece of interplay involves the Brazilian centre-back finding the feet of a Salzburg striker who's peeled off the front line, taking his marker with him and creating space in the opposition defensive line. Said striker will then offload to the attacking midfielder who looks to target the aforementioned space. The compactness of Salzburg's shape allows for quick combinations in and around the final third. They tend to play in tight spaces, and with two strikers, one attacking midfielder and the outer midfielders making forward runs, they can turn the opposition quickly through one-touch passes, one-twos, layoffs and through balls. They are reluctant to go wide as a first course of action. This seems risky, as the chances of a giveaway appear high in a congested centre, but the primary aim is to create quality chances by constantly playing through lines of pressure. One of the reasons Salzburg are so comfortable playing in tight central areas is that these conditions are ripe for intense counter-pressing, which is another of their key facets. If one of their penetrative passes is intercepted, they usually have enough players nearby to instantly surround and pressurise the opposing ball winner. If they are unable to play through, Salzburg are willing to go around their opposition's defensive block. To do this, they must make use of their fullbacks, who are often the sole providers of width on their respective flanks. Lena and Uma are easily found through diagonal passes out from the centre-backs. From there, they target the space behind the opposition midfield line with diagonal passes inward to the ball near striker and the attacking midfielder. Both fullbacks take up high and wide positions during the attacks. At times, this allows Salzburg to overload opposition defences. Assuming they're up against a back four, if one draws out their opposite fullback, they can create a 3v3 or 3v2 centrally against the opposition centre-backs. Rose's side are not fond of the traditional looping deep crosses. Instead, if a fullback finds themselves in a crossing situation, they will aim for the edge of the opposition's 18-yard box. This is an effective strategy as it allows them to once again benefit from the combinations their shape affords them. Defensively, Salzburg's system is occasionally modified to suit the task at hand. Against Lazio, they defended in a 4-3-2-1 shape, which allowed them to better press the Italian side's diamond build-up structure while against Dortmund, a flat 4-4-2 was deployed, with Schlager going man-to-man -man against the Germans' advancing right-back Gonzalo Castro. Dynamic, fast and aggressive, with and without possession, Salzburg are encouraging fans to forget their controversial ownership history and focus instead on their intriguing tactical approach. 
For that, Rose and Marich deserve immense credit. And, having thrilled in the Europa League this season, they can rightly aim to stun the Champions League come 2018-19. To keep up with RB Salzburg or any other professional football team, you should download the OneFootball app. It should be your go-to app for any new news, stats, league positions and a few different displays and more. Check the link in the description and download it now. Thanks very much for watching.